Hello, Marwan. Uh, you have asked me to create the video for the designing of filter and the SNR video. So, first of all, I would explain the band pass filter. So, there are four frequencies which are required. When I asked you they, uh, the same, to send me the desired range of frequencies, so you send me two frequencies, which was 10 Hz and 50 Hz. So you said that these are the set of frequencies at which the data has been recorded. So the first was the pass bandage frequency 1 and the second was pass bandage frequency 2. So the pass band H frequency which is 10 Hz and the pass band H frequency 2 which was 50 Hz before this is the pass band before and after this it is there are two stop bands the one stop band which start from 0 and it has an edge and this edge is known as stop band H frequency 1 and another from where the stop band starts is known as the second stop band H frequency and in between the stop band H frequency 1 and pass band H frequency 1 there is a transition band similarly there is another transition band at the other side if we increase the width of this transition band then some noise will be passed through the filter so we need to keep this transition width as small as possible so that no any noise can pass through the filter. So in your case what I did is I have taken this width to be 2 hertz. If I make it extremely small then the filter design will get complex. I don't want to make it more complex so I have taken the width to be 2 hertz. Now I will create the code and the previous code which I have sent you there were some mistakes so in this uh, MATLAB script I will create the code and I will tell you that what I am going to do and how I am going to create the code. So wait a minute. Okay, this one was the main file, and you told me that the cutoff uh, sampling frequency from the Excel sheet we have noted that the sampling period was 10 seconds, so the sampling frequency will be 1 by 10. So I have taken FFS as 1 by 10. Okay. From here I will design the filter that is uh, the pass band filter. So here all uh, name of the filter is band pass, the filter order is 20, the cutoff frequencies are defined in this code. Now I will filter the data. Uh, Filtering the data, I will create a loop. Data values come off one. I will apply filter to each row 
separately and the filtered signal information will be stored in each row will stay busy for some instant of time. Okay, this one is the SNR value and now I will plot it. I will plot the filtered values. Okay, I am getting such sort of plot. Now what I am going to do is I am going to change the uh, frequencies. And then I will see that what, what is happening. Okay, I have uh, created a filter. And you can see that the filter order is 20, the cutoff frequency values which I have previously explained are ASO. I have used the loop and each row is separately filtered and stored in the respective position. The SNR function requires the filtered values and the data values. And it calculates the SNR of the signal and you can see the SNR of the signal is minus 12.98. This one is the filtered uh, response and this is the time axis and this is the uh, depth axis. You can see this one is the filtered data. You can see some by changing the color map. You can see something. So, this is the SNR code. I'm going to send this code to you. Okay. And thank you so much.